No, praise the Lord. No, <clears throat> we won't see a thing in the world. Not without the help of the Lord. So that's why, look, I want all of us say, Lord, help me. Help me. Help me to see. I'll not see unless you help me. And I'm asking you to help me to see. If you'll have a heart like that, he sees that heart and he knows that heart. I guarantee he does. Amen. And he'll bless you with something. He'll help you. He'll do it. Let's look at Mark chapter 4. Very familiar to some of us verses of Scripture. But now, I want you to pay attention tonight. I know you will, but I'm just politely asking you to. And stay tuned in as well. And, and uh, <clears throat> Mark chapter 4. <clears throat> Brenda mentioned it in passing tonight. And this Word of God is so good. Here we find Jesus, and, and as I said, this story is, if you've been in church any length of time, it's familiar to you. But it's where Jesus was talking about the sower, and he's going to sow the word, or the seed to, to start with, and he told, he told all the scenarios about how that farmer or that sower would sow seed and where they'd fall and what would happen to them. And the disciples began to ask him because they didn't understand what he's talking about. And, and he began to tell them that this is what, and, and there's a whole lot more. I'm just seeing a little bit, and I'll show you what I see. And then the Lord will show us more. Amen. And he began to tell them, he said, Know you not this parable in verse 13? For the sake of time, we won't do all the reading before. He said, Know you not this parable? And then, How will you know all parables? What, what, what is the Lord meaning by that? <coughs> if you don't understand this one, how will you understand all of them? They didn't understand that when, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> that when Jesus <coughs> was talking about these things in the natural, in the natural, <coughs> excuse me, that he wasn't just talking about natural things. This is what they didn't understand. And this is what I believe also some of us uh, dear Christians, people don't understand as well. That when Jesus was talking about someone, now, I tell you what, <clears throat> Thank God, thank God. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate it. Thank God that Jesus, just like he would talk to them, he'll talk to anyone. Just like he talked to his disciples, and he talked to them, and he taught them. Just like we talk to one another, Herb. And... That's the way Jesus was doing. But <clears throat> they didn't understand that when Jesus was talking about this, this, this natural thing, of course, I know they understood that part. It's natural. You go sow a seed, and about anyone could understand that. Just about anybody could understand what he was talking about. But what they didn't understand was that he was talking, he was using these natural things, but he was talking about spiritual things. He was talking about how the kingdom was. The kingdom, and, yeah, and how it works. See, this other place, you remember where Jesus said, and the kingdom of God is as a man cast the seed into the ground. 
That's what he was doing. He said, I'm going to show you how the kingdom is by this. This reveals it. Simple thing as a, as a man going out and sowing seed. Where they fell and what happened to them. He could say, and so is the kingdom. Well, this is what they didn't understand because they weren't ready to understand it, I don't guess, at the, at the moment until he talked to them. But he said, now, if you don't understand this one, you won't understand any one of those that I'm talking about because all of them are about the kingdom. Every one. Every one. 